Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proforic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress basics tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that installing of site origin widgets bundle plugin as well as we will discuss about basics of contact form 7. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress basics tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video session means number part number 8, we have discussed about the page builder plugin actually provided by WordPress. Okay, so if you go to browser, so inside this administrator panel, if you go to pages section, so inside this, just to move to front end page, so now inside who about this page guys, these are the settings that we did in our previous video session. Okay, and this page actually has been designed and controlled by using page builder. Okay, so just back to administrator panel click on about us edit section now inside this edit section guys these are the sections we have developed by using page builder okay so in that video session guys we have seen that suppose if you want to add any widget inside this area let's add something called widgets bundle okay so if we add any of these features from this widgets bundle so just I want to add suppose site origin image okay so after adding that if you want to implement or just say that if you want to modify some features so just click on edit then these features has been locked okay we are not going to use this feature why because we need to install site origin widgets bundle to use that okay so first of all we have to install this plugin okay so just back to plugin section leave this page now inside this plugin section click on add new by clicking on this add new guys we are actually going to add site origin widgets bundle from our plugins repository okay so let's that widgets bundle okay it will actually search all the keywords matching plugins from our plugin repository okay so this is something like that called site origin widgets bundle okay so we are going to install this plugin so click on install now so as we can see guys that this is installing so now successfully we have installed site origin widgets bundle plugin okay so now we are going to activate that so click on activate so as we can see that the plugin is itself activating okay on activation as we can see that plugin activated okay so just back to pages section go to about us now it's time to add image section by using called site widgets bundle okay so clicking on this panel because we are going to add a simple image inside this column okay click on add widget go to widget bundle so we are going to use a let's say that site origin image okay so clicking on that let's do some settings for that first of all we have to choose some of the images okay so let's click on choose media so inside this let's say that this is the image which we are going to show click on set media so this is the image where we have chosen so here is image size full thumbnail and many more options actually it has provided okay so let's say full option is okay okay so other settings we have so if you want to customize or change we can do okay so by providing all these customizations just click on done button now we have set everything for the site origin image click on update after updating that guys if you go to front end section reload this page now if you scroll down this is the image we have uploaded by site origin widget bundle okay so basically guys before installing that plugin we have actually error that we need to install that plugin so now after installing that error has gone okay so we have basically unlocked all the features of widget bundle we can use any of the features from this list okay if you want to suppose implement Google Maps so while using Google Map we have to provide our API key okay while by providing API key we can actually embed or implement Google Map to our website let's suppose that if you want to implement called site origin post carousel this is basically a slider format okay so if you want to implement that so I'm going to click on that just scroll down so let me drag and drop here okay so if I just drag here and dropping here okay so while clicking on this edit button it will provide some of the customization for the site origin post carousel okay so we have to provide the basic formations basic informations for this carousel system 
okay so here we have called post query and basically this is number one it means that we have only post one post inside this okay now if I click that here we have options called post type so if suppose we want to make site origin post carousel of our created pages okay so let's check this pages section from this list click on done now we have selected this carousel system as our WordPress created pages okay means it will make a slider of our WordPress pages okay so if I just update go to front end pages reload this section and now as we can see that here is a carousel system basically this is the page we have created called home this is another page called WordPress team so many guys we have created all the pages actually appearing in the format of post carousel so basically this was also a feature that actually we have unlocked by using site or is it widget panel okay so just back to administrator panel so in the summary point of view guys actually the widgets bundle provided several actually features if we were going to use that obviously we can use by installing that now it's time to discuss about contact form 7 that we have installed as a plugin in our previous video session okay so here is the plugin called contact us Okay. so basically guys this is the plugin which gives you a interface of contact forms okay it will provide a sort code by pasting that sort code in any of the created pages basically it will give a user interface for that contact form okay you can customize the messages you can customize the email settings as well as you can customize the control over all the fields of that form okay so if I click on contact so let's suppose that we are going to add some of the contact form inside this contact us page right now contact us page is empty okay so we want that a form should be there by the help of that form actually we are going to mail some of the mails to any of the user okay so how can we provide contact form to this page so just back to administer panel so here we have called contact us page Okay, so right now there is no contents inside this editor. Okay, so we are going to use called contact us form our plugin. So basically to use that guys, first of all, we have to create our contact form. Now we have to provide some of the input fields like, like messages, like subject, to, from, etc. These are the fields that we have to set for our mailing system. Okay, so just back to this tab. Now here is the contact form actually front end page okay this is the dashboard for this contact dot plugin okay so right now guys as we can see that inside this WP list table it has provided a dummy called contact form 1 it is the default provided value of this contact okay so if suppose if we want to implement this contact form inside this page just we have to copy this sort code this is the sort code okay so just copy that after copy this sort code just back to this page now I'm going to paste inside this text section okay so let me paste that so click on update button so successfully we have used this sort code basically for contact form 7 inside our contact us page just go to front end section reload this page now as we can see that here we have a form where we have to provide some of the information like your name your email subject and message so basically these are the configuration these are the fields actually that form has provided okay so if suppose we want to actually remove this area like suppose your name if you want to re remove that we can simply just go to our form section click on this edit now here as we can see that guys here we have all control over input values okay so if you want to suppose remove this name section so just cut it from here scroll down and save that value after saving that if you go to front end section reload this page and now your name section has been gone so just back to our visitor panel now other configuration actually contact form provides something called mail so just click on that here we have provided information like if you want to send email means if suppose we have filled all the information okay so after clicking on the send button who will actually receive all these emails from his website obviously we have to provide an email in case of two okay so here is the email guys by providing this email this email actually receive all the informations all the mails from this form okay so here is the ID we have to provide and now here is the ID called from okay means who actually is sending this email next here we have to provide the subject and now this is for the additional headers okay 
this is our body part so basically guys this is the general configuration for our mail by using this configuration if anyone fills all the informations inside this contact form he will receive that email okay now next move to our message section suppose he or she sends any mail from this form so what message actually he got she get after sending message so we can set or control all the messages from this tab called messages so these are the basic things guys actually we need to know while using our contact form 7 plugin okay so if suppose just go to form if you want to use any new input fully inside that just click here okay now we are going to use called a number or let's say text area so I'm clicking on that here we have to provide the fill configuration okay this is the name here we have to provide default value of this text area if you want to make this required we have to check that otherwise just click on insert tag by clicking on that as we can see here we have a short code can say this is the text area implemented or inserted inside this form okay so let's click on save just go to front end page reload this section and now as we can see that this is the text area we have inserted inside this contact form so if suppose guys we want to customize this page because it is not looking good right now okay so just back to the insert panel now inside this contact us let's say that we are going to cut this short code from here just revert back to page builder let's add a row so add row now we want two columns okay it's fine just click on insert so first column let's say we want to insert some of the image here okay so just click on add widget here we go to widget bundle now site or is an image okay so click on edit let's choose a image from that so let's say that this image we are going to insert okay set media so all done now okay in the next column actually we are going to add our contact form 7 okay so just click on add widget now inside this we have to add or let's say widget bundle inside this widget bundle we are going to use called site origin editor okay so just click on that click on edit so inside this text section we have to paste the short code of this contact form okay so just click on done update just move to front end section and reload this page now here we have some layout section this is the image we have inserted and now this is called the email informations okay if suppose we want to insert some of the let's say dummy text right above this so just back to our administrator panel let's say that add row it's time for the single so let's say one click on insert so I'm going to just drag let's cross that drag and drop at the upper position okay so inside that just we have to add visit inside this just we are going to add a simple text okay click on that now we are going to add some of the dummy content paste it here so this is only a dummy content done clicking on update just reload this section so here we have some dummy informations okay so by the help of this video session guys actually we have made some customization for our site origins visual bundle as well as we have seen about the basic concept of using called contact form 7 so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day